Nation, welcome to the Colbert Report. I'm your mayor of Mick Infotainment, Does a Bear. Yay! Look, some have argued that we should start the second season gently and ease into it, particularly since the new studio isn't ready yet. Well, this bear doesn't ease into things. He rushes like a grizzly. Grr, grr, grr. Last weekend, the Reform Party of Canada version 3.0 elected Canada's Ted Cruz as their leader on the first ballot, a fact that surprised no one who had been paying attention to the growing populist republicanism of the conservative movement in Canada. Pierre, Pigeon Polyev, or Skippy as former Prime Minister Stephen Harper used to call him, was immediately questioned by Canadian media about whether any of the ridiculous things he said over the years were now de facto conservative policy. Specifically, that crypto was better than the Canadian dollar because it's inflation proof. That the indigenous don't need reconciliation, they need a job. That tar baby is acceptable language in the House of Commons. That the conservative carbon tax presented by conservative Patrick Brown was actually a liberal invention. They simply waited for conservatives to table first. That abortion is murder. That blockades of parliament and a billion dollar a day border shutdown is acceptable if done by angry white Canadians whining about proven constitutionally legal obligations, but unacceptable if done by indigenous people actually defending their land. They also pressed Pierre to explain how he can be worth more than $10 million when the only job he's had has been an MP who is extremely friendly with the oil and gas lobby. And finally, they asked if Pierre was implying he was Christ when he inserted himself into local news ads at Easter. And Skippy's response to all this was truthful and honest and reassuring. Oh, who am I kidding? Canadian media didn't ask Skippy any of that. His waffling on those questions would have revealed way too much about his character and the party would never want Canadians to see into that sausage factory. Thus, Skippy got another pass. Canadian media continued to imply there's a conservative movement going, even though every poll indicates all the cons did was formalized memberships among already existing conservative voters, and that 70% of Canadians have clearly indicated they look unfavorably at any politician that align themselves with the trucker convoy. So I guess we're looking at another Trudeau majority next election. <sighs> It's sad, really. A healthy democracy needs a viable alternative government. And instead, we have what even brittle stars called sugar-free Ben Shapiro, and a party so unlikable they actually count as anti-charismatic. Now this. 